Hey, welcome to the Bag Hack Digest. Hello, beautiful bag lovers. Trina here. I've got something special for you today. But first, I'm going to show you what I'm rocking out on my way to do my errands on a lovely Saturday. Well, it's a bit overcast, but it's still a nice day. I have um, this Louis Vuitton uh, Montagne clutch, which I have not reviewed for you yet, which is strange because this is uh, one of my favorite bags in my collection. I've had it since 2009. It was the second piece I got uh, in my higher end bags since I started getting on this trend and uh, absolutely love it. Cute little purse. I've switched it out with a longer chain. We'll talk about that sometime later. And another purchase I want to share with you uh, just very for a couple seconds here is this Ikea bag uh, that I bought last trip I was in Fukuoka and I neglected to show you earlier but it's just a pouch that can be worn as a rucksack but the reason this is so fantastic is it's got uh, what's it called that reflective material on the top so when you're heading out to the gym or doing a few bits and pieces uh, you can be safe on your bicycle so I'm very pleased with this little guy very cheap too I love these little ad things and you use it as a shoe bag too when you're traveling or whatnot so good but Today, what I want to talk to you about, what I want to reveal to you is something that I got as a project bag. Do, 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 Yes, it's a Proenza Schooler medium PS1 in luxe leather and the color is white. It's not white, it's cream but this is what she looks like. Now, this I got at a ridiculously cheap price. Like when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. It was less, how much was it? In American dollars, probably about $50. Now there's a reason it was so cheap. It's in pretty worn condition. I've already gone in and shined up all of the metal before it was completely coated with crap. It was messy, but now it's pristine. I went in with some brass cleaner and then I actually dipped the ends of these into some, um, uh, silver or all metal uh, jewelry polish and it just attacked all the crud on it. So the metal's looking pretty good. Um, however, the rest of the bag, I think on camera, it still looks fantastic. Oh my God, the leather is so buttery on this. It's incredibly soft. Um, but yeah, it looks good from here, but da, 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 da. you turn it over and it still looks good on camera actually, but close up, it, it's pretty ratted. Okay, let me show you some close-ups of the bag and see what needs to be done because this is indeed a project bag. So the first thing that you see on the bag is that uh, around the edges of the metal here, it's really dirty, but it's actually not just the dirt. The former user of this bag had really stretched it to the limit, really packed this bag, and the leather has actually come out of the casing. So I'm actually gonna take this to a leather cleaner or a leather worker today and ask them about what's the best way to fix this up. They might have to remove this, put another piece of leather in there and, and put it back on or I don't know. And the other issue I wanna talk with the bag um, or the leather specialist today about is how to go about and if I even should dye this bag because I've done some research and I've dyed bags before successfully, so I'm not afraid of doing it. But the thing is, this is white. So I'm wondering, do I need to put on a leather preparer and do I need to strip it? Um, in which case, uh, there's more work to be done and I don't, and it might stiffen and damage the leather. I really don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to dye it a darker color. I could dye it white or cream. The problem is then it's not really dyeing, it's painting because from what I've heard from the Angelus website, site um, it's not that straightforward to dye very light to very dark and I think I probably will be dyeing this dark for a few reasons one I think light colored bags are pretty stupid <laughs> I mean they just get dirty I mean look at this this is just from wear against um, the person that was wearing it their their clothes I've already tried to clean this actually I used um, some Cadillac leather um, uh, what's it called cleaner and um, conditioner and it, it didn't really work um, it well it got off some stains but this one I had trouble with yeah so there, it, it's pretty dirty you know and I think it's gonna happen to any bag you get in a light color and that's why I shy away from them I just want my stuff to last a long time the person obviously that owned it tried to clean it and press too hard and there is a little bit of damage on the top here as well as there is here. But if I go around the sides of the bag, you can see close to the original um, texture and color. <gasps> I've never ever felt anything this 
soft and silky. It's kind of like, like a soft landscape leather that has almost a powdery feel on the touch. It's just, oh, it's, it's, I, I don't know how they do to get leather like this. Um, here we have a close up of the sides here. Um, you can see that there's dirt around the edges. I did try to clean that up as well, but to uh, no avail. And there's some chipping on the tag here. Um, I might end up stripping that off, not on the actual Proenza schooler band, but on the rivets here, and also on the back a little bit. But this is just a accoutrement. It's not really important to the bag. Um, inside the bag itself, it's lined with uh, some sort of fabric. It's got the Proenza schooler branding on it. But this is attached to the bag, like I can't, well actually this one I can pull out. I can pull this out. Okay, that's not the case for the main compartment of the bag. I noticed that I could not pull out the whole thing. So when I'm dyeing it, I'm gonna have to be really careful because the dye will probably seep through the leather and potentially onto the canvas lining, or not canvas, I really don't know what it is. It's not cotton, it's, it's some sort of synthetic. So this opens up like so. And we have this massive, really the, oh my gosh, the, uh, yes. Okay, it's a snap closure. I've already gone in and cleaned that uh, to the best of my abilities. It was cruddy before. Um, and I've, I managed to keep it fairly clean. This compartment alone is quite large. I don't recommend getting the Proenza schooler large. It's just too big. Why would you need something this big? This compartment is bigger than, <laughs> a lot of my small bags alone. This is huge. You can fit a computer into it. That's what I wanted. Uh, it can be worn as a shoulder bag or a satchel, but not really a cross ready bag unless you're small. This too, again, this is to keep it from opening. And from one hand, I just, it's the magnum is, is so, ah, uh, there we go. Two hands is not a problem, but one hand. So the interior is like uh, just this one big open pocket and we have another zipper compartment on the inside. So in, in total you have three zippered compartments, one uh, flap in the front uh, that's quite large and one major compartment and you've also got a zippered compartment on the back. So there's a lot of compartmentalization here. A lot of people when they wear this bag, uh, they keep these open, uh, more of a casual look, going through and shoving them in every time I think is a pain, but it does look nice. I'm babbling on here, aren't I? Um, uh, another thing, it's it's very slouchy. It's very much like the Balenciaga bag, so it does get worn and very casual looking with time. I just can't get over how beautiful the leather is on this thing. I'm gonna put a box inside it to give it some structure so you can see what the bag um, looks like when it's when it's stuffed. So here's the bag on my shoulders. As you can see, I'm a very large lady, and this suits my frame quite well. Um, it's 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 a medium-sized bag, but I don't know. I'd, I'd call it a large based on just all the stuff that you can fit in there. Um, it's it looks great. If I keep this bag the same color, white or cream there are some issues I'm gonna come across with it. First of all, finding the dye in Japan is gonna be at a reasonable price. I'm talking a reasonable price, because the main dyes, the main companies I like to use for um, sourcing products are Angelis, Angelis, Angelis Products, leather dyes, and Fibings. And they both can be had in Japan via amazon.co.jp, but the prices they charge for them, holy crap, we're talking like five times or more the price that they're available for if you buy in the United States. In the United States, it's cheap, no problem, but here it's crazy. I've seen little tiny bottles of dye sold for like $100, like that's just ridiculous. However, finding black dye is less of an issue. So that's a good point for dyeing it black again, but kind of boring. Um, the other thing with dyeing it a uh, creamy color is that I'm gonna have the same issues as this initial uh, person did, which is um, keeping it in good condition. I don't like to baby my bags. Don't wanna have to worry about the colors. It's just not practical. 
Darker is better for bags, right? The third issue I have with keeping it a lighter color is that uh, I don't have a lot of that available to coordinate with my collection. White would work, definitely, but cream, this creamy color, not so much. Um, I don't know why they called it white on the label because it's definitely not a white. If I look at at the leather that hasn't, you know, that seen hasn't seen the light of day, I can see that it's definitely um, an off white and definitely more of a cream. So I thought at first maybe. Um, you know, the user had worn down the color and that's why it was yellowing, but no, it's actually a cream color. So if you see this available new in white, um, probably it's not as white as you think it is. It's not a flat white. Now, an issue with dyeing it black or a darker color is that I've done a little bit of research online and found that it's often better to dye it a blue or a green before you dye it a black because dyeing a very light color straight to black often doesn't work um, and also I'm worried about using any leather prep on this uh, because it's such a delicate beautiful um, leather I don't want any acetone or whatever chemicals are in there to just really stiffen damage the bag I know if you do it properly it'll turn out great but you are removing surface materials potentially and, and, and you're putting chemicals into the bag and this is I, this is the most luxurious leather I've I, I've owned I think I know that the Prada interior linings and the Christian interior linings for the, some bags are great but this is the whole bag it's it's silky soft oh, I, just, I just don't want to destroy it so there's that and I think even if I dyed it a light color I might have to consider prepping it with some chemical as well I don't know so I'm going to see my leather worker in town today to do two things one is to pick up my Chloe Faye backpack which I'm having adjusted and I'll talk about that bag later and the other is to bring this in and to solicit some advice on a what to do with this buckle situation with the leather popping out and b uh, how I should go about dyeing it and if it'll work now my question to you guys is what color should I dye this bag should I keep it the same cream or white or should I go in with a darker color please comment below okay so that was my reveal of my new Proenza Schooler PS1 bag I hope you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and a like and uh, we'll see you in the next video bag hag signing out